expecting a baby or planning for the arrival of a little one do you want to have the right items on hand to ensure your newborn's comfort and well-being then look no further i have a comprehensive guide to newborn essentials for your newborn from diapering essentials and clothing to feeding supplies sleeping essentials bathing items healthcare necessities safety gears and comfort items by preparing your home with these essentials, you'll be ready to welcome your newborn with confidence and peace of mind. You're welcome to the coming mom, a community for golden, dotting, and present moms. If you're new here, you're amazingly welcome to our community. To my returning moms, thank you for sticking around. First thing you need to buy, clothes. Keep your baby stylish and comfortable with essential clothing items such as onesies, pyjamas like this, pyjamas or slip suits, tops and pants. Please make sure you get clothing essentials from three to six months because newborns outgrow them quickly. Get slip suits like this, comfortable material that your baby will be comfortable in. Can you see? Two, so, diaper. From diapers to wipes, and diaper rash cream for keeping your baby clean and comfortable you need a good diaper rash cream and a good diaper get a good brand for your baby three mitten or gloves to prevent your newborn from getting cold and preventing them from hurting themselves with their nails so they need this they need this they need it number four bibs get the right bibs with good fabrics that won't fold at the edge bibs that can absorb the spilled foods are good because you can count on them to find a way to get their food all over and bib help you avoid changing their clothes after each meal this kind of bib is very very good don't get the ones that have um, nylon in them whether you want to exclusively breastfeed or bottle feed you will need to make feeding item a comfortable time breast pump helps to ease engorgement after delivery also when taking a nap someone could help to feed your baby from the milk you have expressed you need one of these this is a breast pump six baby cuts some mothers are indifferent about this choice of baby cuts but if you feel it is necessary please get one to avoid future occurrence ensure you create a cozy and safe sleep environment for your baby for your newborn seven baby lotion get a good body baby cream without dyes or strong fragrance eight baby shower soap get a good soap that is gentle and has a good moisturizing ingredients allergic testing and fragrance free or mildly scented you don't need a cream that has all the scents in the world you, you need to keep them looking moisturized number nine baby oil choose oil that is easily absorbed into the baby's skin and specially designed for their soft and sensitive skin never buy heavy minerals as they can clog the pores by whichever oil you, you choose make sure it is pure and unadulterated to avoid skin allergies or reaction same bathtub when shopping for a baby bathtub do not choose a top with rough edges which can scratch your baby's body it is also important to choose a top that is spacious enough for your baby it is also good to consider extra stability of the bathtub and prevent any future accidents during bath time make sure it has a slip resistance bottom i mean sleep resistance bottom in the sense that make sure it's not slippery the bottom is not slippery 11 socks booties and caps when choosing socks for your baby same socks around the ankle is a priority it is a priority stretchy but firm socks around the ankle is what you should look out for not too tight please so of cups and spoon most moms find that spoons with long straight handles are easier to use while babies with need a short handle 
and a curve shape like this now get a smaller one this one is from six months to 12 months make sure you get something like this and a place that has a lead as a mom the main reason why you need this is for expressing your breast milk you may want to have some rest while your partner or reliever feeds your baby while you are asleep or those who want to formula feed for reasons best known to them so you need a cup or a bowl like this to keep your breast milk and feed your newborn 13 diaper or nursery bag you can call it a diaper bag or a nursery bag you should get a diaper bag to make life easier so the best diaper bags should have easy to clean and waterproof materials the waterproofing should keep your bag and item safe from water and the easy to clean feature should save your time check if these straps are firm also check if the inner or zipper would easily wear ensure it has multiple compartments to keep diapers wipes other things you'll be taking along in another section for babies for baby spoon for cups it's not advisable or hygienic to put all this together so you need a diaper bag that has all the compartments like this you can see this one it has compartments so get a diaper bag with multiple compartments ensure the diaper bag is comfortable to carry like this and it has different compartments you can see this you can keep the baby's can you see you can keep the baby's food inside the baby's diaper on this side i'm coming the baby's diaper here the baby's handkerchief the baby's beeps the baby's everything you want to keep you can keep them outside then it has another zip can you see that it has various compartments so you need a diaper bag like this and you can easily back it it's just like a backpack 14 maternity gowns postpartum maternity gowns should be stretchy get gowns that have easy opening for breastfeeding at the upper part so that you can easily breastfeed your baby that has buttons at the front buttons or zip make sure it's easy to feed your newborn not the ones that i remember when i, I had my first child I would always pull the gown up to breastfeed my baby. It doesn't make sense. Make sure you get is either a two-piece or a gown that has button at the front. And sure, you need flannel to wrap your baby with to make them warm and clean. This is a flannel. 15 flannels. This is a flannel. Flannel is lighter than shawl. This is a shawl. It's also better than shawl because it makes them this shawl makes them hot for those living in a hot climate so i would suggest you get this buy just one shawl for outings and naming or christening and buy a set of flannel for everyday use you can buy a set a set is six like it has six flannels in a set so it's good for everyday use but just buy one for outing or two flannel is an everyday use so 16 is baby hunger clips or some people call it pegs for expectant mom living in africa especially nigeria it is expected you have a baby clothes dryer or baby hanger to dry your baby's clothes pegs or clips to hold the clothes from falling check out for the road if it won't get rust so quickly look at the thickness and totally look at the hanger carefully if the surface is round and smooth so that it will easily um get rust and damage your baby's clothes 17 car seats 18 baby carrier you need a good baby carrier let me show you one very good you need a baby carrier 19 is baby rocker 20 is baby thermometer you need a baby thermometer to track your baby's temperature to check them so that you won't think okay yeah let's feel it is it wrong temperature no you can't get to know the temperature through that so you need a thermometer 21 wrapper for carrying your baby on your back i have a video on how african moms can secure high back carry it's an educative video and i and it will teach you in details on how to use a wrapper for carrying your baby so here is um a wrapper here this is a wrapper the wrapper is very fanciful so, so fine 
to carry your baby. So as a dirty mom, you need this. 22 mosquito nets for your babies. You don't want mosquitoes to bite your newborn. So you need mosquito nets. If you can afford a bigger one, a smaller one, it's fine for your newborn. 23 pacifier. And 24, you need you need a stroller. You need a stroller. So thank you for watching and do not forget to visit the channel to check for other great content. You will love them. Do not forget to subscribe. Support a co mom by subscribing to this channel. I wish you the best on your journey to parenthood. I mean, on your journey to motherhood. Lots of love. Good in moms.